There is another piece that I encountered. Andy McCarthy pointed me to it. A uh, member of the board at National Review has his own website, David Bonson, B-A-H-N-S-E-N. He's written a very detailed essay describing his fears for the culture war that we're in and where we are headed. And like me, he thinks that this Kavanaugh thing represents nothing of the end, but rather this is just the beginning and is an indication of how much worse things are going to get. And let me just titillate you here. This is uh, one of the first pull quotes I excerpted from Mr. Bonson. At the heart of my statement that things will never be the same again in America is this discovery. The left does not wish to coexist with the right in this country. They wish to extinguish the right. Now, not news to me, but you got to remember, Beltway types, the never-Trumper conservatives, have always assumed that they are brethren with their fellow leftist intellectuals. And they've always thought that even though they're conservative and the leftists are liberal, that still they're both intellectuals and they had that in common. And the leftist intellectuals would always accept the right wing intellectuals based on the commonality of intellectualism. And that's what always has just frustrated me to no end about the never Trumpers. They're blind as bats. They're not even on the field, much less in the game. And even now, even with this Kavanaugh stuff, some of them are reluctant to get in the game. They still seek the approval of those who reject them. They'll go down the tubes with good manners. I still, I still run in, believe this, I still run into Republicans who tell me if the Republicans would just stop abortion, we could win elections. If the Republicans just stop talking about abortion, just get rid of abortion. I, I just, I look at them with puzzlement like I cannot describe. You really think that's what all this is? About? Yes, we've got to stop talking about abortion. I said, when did you stop paying attention to politics? 20 years ago? What do you mean? We're so far beyond that. You don't even see it. But the, at the heart of it is, if we just change who we are then they'll stop being so mean. And that is not true, and it is not the answer, and it is not the solution. Because they have no desire to coexist. They are not energized by the intellectual feast of debate like our intellectuals are. They don't want any part in debating anything. There's nothing to debate. We are not legitimate to them. And so they want to just wipe us out. We don't share their values. We never will. There's no reason to pay us any attention whatsoever. They do not value the so-called liberal order of society. What we're living through right now is an unprecedented level of hate, dishonesty, distrust, and mistreatment. There is an amazingly strong disdain for the ideology of conservatism, but not just that. There is an unprecedented disdain and hatred of the social norms because they don't fit in them. They know it. They don't fit. They're out to change what is normal, and it's going to be them and whatever they claim normal is. They want no part of constitutional government. Constitutional government's part of that which is discriminated against them from the get-go. They don't want any part of Western civilization. Western civilization is all part of the discrimination, the racism, misogyny that they suffer with daily. But the ideological divide is not just that. It's, it, it's not really an ideological divide. The transition from worldview to actionable behavior has accelerated faster than Mr. Bonson could have ever anticipated. And what it means for our national politics and the culture at large is frightening. That's just one paragraph. I have taken...